I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna. And before we get started into today's video, please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family. The mess that you are seeing in today's video is post camping Easter vacation. There is just stuff everywhere and it was just getting super cluttered, super overwhelming and it was just giving me so much anxiety that I just really needed to clean it first thing in the morning and I decided why not let's film it, let's motivate some others because I was watching a whole bunch of my YouTube friends clean their houses and I was like you know what? I need to clean my house. I am motivated. Let's go and let's do it. So this is the mess that you are seeing. Like I said, there is Easter candy everywhere. There is just, you know, stuff from camping and I needed to unpack, like just stuff everywhere. So if you need to clean your house, go ahead and turn me on and let's conquer some messes together. <music> dresser and our new couches are my favorite furniture purchases ever. I love them so much and this dresser does get really unorganized and really dirty really fast. So about once a week I will go ahead and go through it, organize it because you know a three-year-old is in here all the time and getting her stuff out, putting it in and out and everything <laughs> just gets it gets really messy and cluttered and I needed to go through, throw some stuff out that was just, you know, whatever. And I, yeah, I want to know other moms and parents out there, where do you guys store like your kids coloring and crafting stuff? Like I wish I could put it in her playroom, but I just don't really trust her. I don't know. Maybe that's just a my daughter thing. But uh, someday, hopefully, she can have the stuff in her playroom. I don't know. I just like to have her coloring at the dining room table. That way I can keep an eye on her. And also, I really like to color and craft with her as well. It's kind of our time we get to spend together. And I really enjoy doing that with her. Something is behind the clouds. We just have to believe it. We can make the sun come out.
gotten some newer subscribers recently, so I thought I would go ahead and tell you a little bit more about myself. So my name is Jenna. I am a wife and stay-at-home mom to two littles. Savannah is three years old and Maverick is 10 months old. We have three crazy dogs. There's one of them right now. He is obsessed with looking in the dishwasher. That is his favorite hobby. On my channel, you are going to find tons of cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, DIY projects that my husband Zach and I love to do together, the occasional vlog, anything camping and camper content. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, stay subscribed. <laughs> and if you are new, go ahead and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family. I post every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I will be doing a new upload time, you guys. I, instead of at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it will be 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't want to waste my time. So baby, we should start living now. like to know what products that you guys use to clean your sinks. I have tried several products and I don't think that my sink is ever going to be completely true white because it's not a brand new sink and it's a sink. I mean that's where you put your dirty dishes, occasional food, you know, all that good stuff in there. So I'm just curious what you guys use. I would be willing to try out some different products. I mean it's decently clean and white. It's hard to tell from that camera angle but I'm just curious. Please let me know in the comments what you use to clean your sink. Right now I'm standing in the corner. My two favorite products that I absolutely love using for my stovetop is the Super Clean Degreaser. And I use this every single day, once or twice a day. It depends how, you know, messy I am when I'm cooking. And I also love using the pink stuff, which is what you are seeing me do currently. I love it. I use it about once a week. It just really gets all of the grime off your stovetop. And it leaves it with such a nice shine afterwards. It is, oh my gosh, it just looks so good. And I decided to go ahead and try it on my oven door. I just wanted to test it out, see how well it worked, but if you guys are on the fence about trying the pink stuff, I just recommend go ahead and trying it because it is seriously awesome. It does have a lot of steps and I believe it's like 9 or $10, but it is just so worth it and it lasts a really long time. You can get a lot of uses out of it. So I will go ahead and link that down below for you guys. I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave this place I'll take you anywhere you want Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you It's time to 
take off the pink stuff. So what you have to do is take that sponge that you had used to apply it, get it a little damp and go ahead and run all throughout. And I think I did that twice because it wasn't wet enough. And then I take my microfiber rag and I go around the edges, get all of the pink stuff out of there. And by the way, this washes off really easily and really well in the washer when you go to wash these microfiber cloths. But look at that shine, you guys. It looks like a brand new stove top. Oh my gosh. I just love the way it looks after I use the pink stuff. And I'm doing the same thing with the stove door. And I noticed a pretty big difference. Like it got all of the nasty stuff off of there. And it cleaned it for as well as it could for an inside oven door in my opinion. But I love the pink stuff. I just cannot say it enough. I love the pink stuff. <laughs> I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you It's almost like you make me fly And when I look at you smile I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you we haven't had our couches long, but I realized, you know what, I need to go ahead, I need to move them and vacuum under them. And they really weren't that bad. I was really, really surprised. Only those three toys were under there and just a little bit of dog hair, not a lot of dust. So I was really pleasantly surprised and I'm gonna go ahead and make this like a weekly thing, I think, just so it doesn't get too bad and built up with the dog hair because you know, when you have three dogs, you just never know. And there was hardly any hair back here at all. As you saw, I picked up one little toy and that was it. I was, I was very surprised. Oh! guys and that is going to be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some cleaning motivation stay tuned for this week's videos because i have more cleaning motivation coming your way and wednesday's video is an extreme multiple days of laundry motivation so much laundry it was absolutely ridiculous and insane you guys are not going to want to miss that so that is going to be wednesday's video 10 a.m 
Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. I've never really been the one who's worried. Always been the one who's keeping it cool.